Mugiwara view is here. Yeah, Mugiwara view. Okay, the crucial issue. And um, as you can see from the title above, it's called picking ten random cards and choosing, or whatever it's called. Um, each week, or yeah, each week I will be choosing ten random cards from my first set. Oops, I should get rid of these dual set over here. Uh, out of my uh, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, uh, seven. Technically, if you call the deck one, and I will be actually choose uh, t uh def defying in my opinion on them. So we'll be choosing my first set. Let's just count. There you go, first sets down here. So uh, yeah, I will be now uh, talking about them and such, if you will. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy its back backup channel, which hopefully will actually get more publicity on Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though it's called Mugiwara Review, so we're starting off with the first card in the series: Cass, Cassia Coliseum Spell Continuous. Um, there's the effect. You can probably read it. Um, all right, so this is terrible. Okay, maybe if I do it like that, yeah. Um, pretty good card, I must say. If you have um, one of those cards that can't be destroyed by battle, I guess you already read it by now or paused it. Uh, if you have those cards that can't be destroyed by battle, and uh, your opponent doesn't have a piercing monster, such as... Um, well, what's a good monster? Bora from the Blackwing set. Um, or don't have those tribute uh, from the Six Samurai set, Mizuho, or whatever it's called. Pretty good card, I must say, because... Uh, you, you saw its effect. It's, it's, it's really good for stalling. Sorry for the cut. Um, I don't know if you... I don't know if I'll add it in. I won't add it in. Sorry for the cut. Um, something went wrong. Um, so, yeah. Now, next set is three monsters. I'll set it here. Mirage Tube, uh, Spell and Quick Play. I'll let you read it. Um... It's a good card, I must say, again. <laughs> well, I honestly haven't bought booster packs in a while, and I'll say this right now, it's it, it's an interesting effect. If you have, uh, it's not good for stalling decks, because you've, uh, you have to be face up, and if you have, uh, um, uh, this, uh, cannot be destroyed by battle cards, uh, they won't attack you, and then if you use this, a thousand damage, pretty good. If you have all three, as I have here, Pretty good, and look at the picture, it's an avion attacking. I don't know what this is, but uh, it's a pretty good monster. Well, not monster. So it's four already. Next card is Dark Blade. Uh, original, no effect. Here it is. Base power is 18,000. 100. Defense is 1,500. Good card. It's good for normal monsters. Uh, most normal monsters aren't that good for... Um, attack and defense, but this one's pretty decent. Next one is Magical Mallet. Enough said. Um, it's good. It's a good card for um, giant... Not, psh, I think I just spoiled it. Um, it's a good card for Exodia 1 OTK uh, decks, because they can just Magical Mallet for the cards they don't want at this point. Because OTK, they can just put back Exodia, because eventually you're going to draw cards with the Royal Magical Library, and it uh, spell count and then draw again. So, next card, I'm pretty sure you can see it already, is, is going to be a giant grenade. I had a heavy storm, but you know, it's unbanned because of this uh, September, and it's, it's, real, it's really good because uh, Exodia OTK decks and decks uh, such as um, Stalling decks for um, Swords of Revealing Light and such, and Nightmare Steel Cage. Uh, here's its effect. Wow, another cut. <laughs> uh, my stand keeps falling over. Next one is Mythical Space Typhoon. Effect is here. Amazing card, I must say. Again. Oh my god. Uh, each deck must have one, at least one. Or I have spell cards that they have, that, such as um, field spells like in you know, Ancient Deck, Central of the Sky, Dragonity Deck, the Valley Deck, uh, Necro Valley. It's it's an essential card, if you if you will. Uh, each deck always, usually most decks have one, unless they have one to replace it. But other than that, no. Good card. Enough said. It's, um, it's, it's used to be semi-limited, but again, September Badness from the March one, it's, 
it's now a, uh, nothing. So last cards here. It's gonna be my three grave keepers I ordered in eBay a while a while back. Here's the feck. It's a spellcaster. It's stiff. The only reason why I got this is because the defense is pretty high. I must say. Uh, I don't have a Gravekeeper deck, but it's good for defenses for the deck I have. Yes, you probably realize now it's a dark deck. Uh, I can just flip, use its effect, then get another one of these, and then uh, set in defense mode for both of them. And I have an extra one because um, it only costs a dollar. So, yeah, this wraps up this week's a recap of the cards that uh, was on today. Three Gravekeepers, one Mystical Space, Giant Trinade, one magical mallet, one dark blade, and three mirage tubes, and one Cass Cassia Colosseum. So make sure to leave a comment telling me if you like enjoyed this episode because yeah, I, I love feedback. So here's the whole set. I didn't really, I think I already showed it to you. And I have other sets here. Here's my um another set that I have. And um, random DS showcasing worm bro. So, uh, next episode, we will continue this probably a week. We're going to say stuff about it, and here are my two strategy cards to end the episode. Ooh.